not the way we uh, originally anticipated on starting this video, but uh, this is what we're doing. So <laughs> here we go. All right, guys. Well, we have been hard at work all week long. We're going to show you guys some footage of what we've been up to and what it's taken us to get up to this point um, this week while we have been away. We did not vlog a whole, whole lot, I will say that, but we did a little of this, a little of that, and now we're approaching a completed project. Stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. Well, as you can tell, we're back down here in the hole. I'm going to continue working on the rebar, the never-ending rebar, but it's actually getting so, so close. I've got three rings set up all the way going down from there, all the way down over there. Um, the third ring has to start, it stops right there, but I got to keep it going. And um, I do have three rings in that corner as well. So I've got to finish putting up all of the rings on the outer edges as much as possible today. Gary's going to come down here and start working on cutting some more rebar because we still have more rebar to do. It's not just the outer edges with three rings. We're going to be putting rebar in the center, but it's going to be going across. Think like train tracks. That's essentially what we're doing, but they're going to be staggered and creating like a box inside the center. So I'm not the best at explaining everything, so it's best we just kind of show you what we're doing. So I did go to the store this weekend and I picked up this bunch of baling wire. It's already pre-cut, so that should save me some time. It's got these little loops on the end. Um, it's got a loop here, got a loop there. And essentially what you do is you just kind of connect it and then you use this tool and spin it all around and it's supposed to help you make it tighter um, and tie it a lot faster for you. It should make things a lot faster. I'm really hoping it does, um, but there's no time like the present. Let's just see how it works. I'm kind of excited, guys. All right, so I untied this portion right here and now it's just gonna kind of roll out and I could take a few of these things off at a time, which is helpful. If I can get it off of there, there we go. So now I've got all these pre-cut ties, which should be helpful to me. They've got little loop-de-loops on the end. Um, let's see how it works. Alrighty, I'm gonna try the twisty tool first. So take this dude. This needs to be right about there. See, the only thing with this though is that now I can only go around once, which I guess is fine. I was probably doing an overkill to begin with, but I was like twisting the baling wire around two times. Now this is only going to give me enough room to twist once, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it works. It holds. Cool. I mean, I guess it works. It's in and it's tied. It's not going around the bar two um, times like I was doing, but it's in and it's tied. So I will count it as a win. Should help me get this job done a lot faster. So thank you guys for suggesting it to me. Um, yeah, I want to get this rebar done. So I'm going to, I'm going to get at it.
So I am back at the uh, job site with Melanie. And uh, this morning I had to go down to the pond with Abe because Abraham has been dying to go fishing. So I said, all right, all right, all right, dude. We're gonna go fishing early in the morning before we start working, all right? So I didn't really record anything, but he did catch a fish. So now he is happier than a clam and running all over the place and excited and just so stoked that he caught a fish finally. It was awesome. So definitely well worth it. Now I've got to uh, go and measure out exactly um, and see how far spacing I'm going to go. I can go 36 inches for the spacing of rebar coming up so I can put all the brick in. I might go a little less. It just depends. I want to look at the bricks and exactly measure out and uh, make sure I'm not having a headache later on in life. Because <laughs> it would suck if I'm off by like a little bit or I'm You're right up like on the side inches. of it. Huh? You're off by like two inches. Yeah, and now I have to bend the rebar to get, dude, like, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. So I'm going to go measure the brick and see where it lines up. Hey, Gary. Huh? You mean blocks? <laughs> blocks <laughs> tomato tomato so i'm gonna go measure the blocks and then i'm gonna start cutting rebar and getting those put in so that way once we're all said and done rebar will be done we've got Can a lot we... we've got quite a bit more to do for rebar which we're getting there though we're getting there that it's freaking it's awesome i'm super happy it's uh it's coming out really really nice and uh yeah Gary says, come over here with the camera, Mel. What is it? It's a spider. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, Look at that big guy. It made the spider web in there. It made a spider web over the window of the truck. Dad has to get it out. That's a, a pretty big spider, too. Yep. That thing's huge. Um, I don't go grab a net. Go we'll grab me like him. Ooh, grab me that. A tiki, tiki torch? A tiki torch. It's a torch. Get him out of there. It's a I don't want him in my truck. Nah. You don't want it. I guess that's what you get for uh, leaving the window down, huh? Oh, yeah. Watch out, Abe. He's all. He's, I have a feeling he knows what's going on. Look at that big old guy. Yep. Go put him out in the. The forest. The forest. Hey, Look at him climbing hey, the web. Oh my goodness. He's all. He's I'm quick. Out of here. here, dude. Get well, off. now this torch looks pretty good. There you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see him. That's a big one, huh, Abe? Yay. All right, so we ordered some more rebar. I've only got a little bit left. But I cut all these right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these in the ground every two feet and leave at least two feet up. So yeah, I'm going to do all that, get all those in and I'm leaving this because I need to do a little bit of more cuts, little small ones and actually do like the railroad track all the way through. So you'll see that we're going to get all this rebar in today. You excited Mel? We're gonna get all this rebar that we've got right here in the hole. Yeah, everything that we have on property. We did order some more, so more will be here tomorrow so we can finish up the railroad tracks, but everything that we got on property will be done today. Ready?
So we're over here in the middle of the clearing right now. You can see all of the wood logs that we're gonna have to still mill, but we're gonna use our mill to do that. Um, we've got this big pile of junk going on over here. That's all like the ends that were cut off from the bigger logs that we had Dave with Hood's Custom Shop mill up. Um, we've got some area kind of set up for now that we're gonna try to take all of these logs set them over there so we can get them drying and they won't warp. Those are all the logs that Dave with Hud's Custom Shop had milled up for us while he was here. Um, Gary's kind of got it organized a little bit. We got to do a little bit more of that, huh? Oh yes. So we're going to continue stickering over this way and then once we get the one stickering side done, then we can start grabbing over here and start laying them out and see how many we can get in one ring and then continue stickering from there. <laughs> And just keep on going over and over and over again we might have to uh, make some more stickers itself so everything can hold together and then we got to figure out how we're going to put the weight on top so yeah yeah and keep it dry yeah <laughs> <laughs> so. so it's it's definitely multifaceted we have so many different projects going on right now that are like all need to get done like right now so we're spreading ourselves a little thin but we're getting it done yes one day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> All right, All right. Let's get it going. Yeah, we're going to start working on this wood. All right, so we got to the part where we got three stacks high, which is pretty good. Gary and I run out of spacers, so you're gonna make a few? Yep. Oh, it's getting warm. I know, I'm like, come on, Cloud. Come back. Do your thing, Cloud. Actually, it is doing its thing right now, and we have that big bunch that I hope goes that way, so Cloud can help us out some more. Uh, it's tiring, but it's back to work. We're gonna have plenty of wood for uh, winter time. I mean, all this scrap wood is gonna be great to burn. Lots of kindling, so good stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's get this work going and done because we got more rebar and more stuff to do to get cement done. Yay! Never ending, man. Yeah, but it's all good. It's all a part of it. It's all, it. A, all a part of the journey, guys. All a part of the journey. Well, hey, you guys, we are back down in the hole. Oh, yes. um, we finished all of that stack. If you guys can see it over there, I'll take you guys up closer here in just a little bit, but we finished the stack of wood. So that's no longer an issue for us. Yep. We don't got to worry about it warping gonna, or going bad. So we're going to need to put a tarp over it. So that way we don't get any rain on top of it. 
Yeah. And then put some more weight up on top, but. It's stacked. The it's hard stacked. part of stacking and organizing it is done. Yep. So now that that is done, we did get a second order of rebar. We got that delivered yesterday, so there it is. Um, Gary is going to go ahead and start chopping that rebar into yep. little sections like this. And um, basically what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to be attaching it inside here to make the boxes. So <clears throat> Gary's going to work on uh, cutting it. I'm going to work on tying it in here. And then as soon as it's tied, we got the one last thing to do, which is the pipe. And then we're ready for concrete. We're so freaking close. I can nearly taste it, but uh, we still have a lot of work to do. As you guys seen all that rebar that we still got to cut up. So, yep. yeah, it's a very forgiving weather day. Um, the sky has been abundant with clouds. We do have rain on the radar. We don't know when, but it says, it says after two, we're going to get as much as possible done today. Um, and I feel like very, very soon you'll finally see the concrete getting poured in here. Fingers crossed. It's getting closer. Oh yes. <laughs> we're pretty much done with the rebar almost. So. Yeah. This last little bit with the rebar, the piping and we're done. Yep. And then we're done. Yep. So guys, we're going to hit it on here and get as much done as possible. And then we'll chat with you after it's all said and done. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. I'm pretty much like out of my grinding blades. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to go get some more uh, cutoff wheels for my grinder. And uh, also Mel is like almost out of the pre-cut. Yeah, those little twist ties. Well, they are working really good, guys. They make the job a lot easier. It is a lot easier on my hands and stuff too. So I don't want to go back to using the bailing wire. <laughs> Gary's gonna go get the that blade and he's gonna get me some more stuff and we're gonna get back at this Probably tomorrow. It's about 45 minutes or so until the kids got to get back up from the school bus yep. So I'm gonna stay here and wait for the kids and Gary's gonna run to town So that way tomorrow morning we can just start getting after it again. So we're making yep. really good progress though guys Really really good progress. I mean we've got all those train tracks is like what we like to say but yeah, they're all, all the rebar is tying itself together. We've got that kicker over there. This front side's pretty much done. 
Yep. She ran out of the twist ties, like we were saying, so. Yep, so after tomorrow, <sighs> we should be good to go. Um, we are, again, expecting rain on the forecast, so we're probably not going to get this the actual concrete in the ground if we get it scheduled right yeah. away. Maybe Monday? I Maybe. don't know. But I I'm hate hoping. saying when, guys. I really hate saying when. It's going to happen I... soon, though. Soon. <laughs> Very so. soon. We're actually, all it is is this last little bit and I'm going to throw in just one more thing of rebar in a sense and that's not going to take us that long because nah. I'm using the whole 20 foot length mm -hmm. each little bit so it's not going to be a whole lot. And then piping. Which yeah. Piping isn't going to be too hard. It's going to be a headache now that we've got all this uh, rebar in but um, yeah it's got to be done one way or another and that's partly why I need to get more grinding wheels because I know that after it's all said and done I'm going to go around clean everything up with the grinder and uh, yeah make it square. It's a long process guys we knew that building our house was not going to be in a snap we knew it was going to take a long time um, but day by day we're getting there I'm very proud of us. Um, we're doing it by hand. Yeah by hand. A lot of people don't realize it by hand. Yeah. Huge area. Two people. Two people. With help from with help. friends. Yep. Yep. So, so <laughs> it's uh it's been a lot of work we've got a lot more to do mm -hmm. and a lot longer to go yes. so yes. <laughs> so we're going to combine these videos because we've just been kind of recording just randomly this week as you guys have been able to tell so far so we're going to combine the video with what we got done today which you're seeing right now with what we're up to tomorrow so see you guys in good morning good morning friends well i'm walking down to the job site Gary is already down here cutting this rebar up. We are going to do our darndest to get all those little train tracks put in today and um, get everything finalized because we want to have a nice relaxing weekend this weekend. We're supposed to be having a lot of rain this weekend, so we want to get all this stuff done before the rains come and so we can have a nice relaxing weekend. How's it going, baby? It is going good. Yeah? Yep. It's looking awesome. So check it out guys, I'm going to show you um, everything over here. You guys can see we got some of these train tracks in there. I got to tie all those together today. I've got to secure them in. Gary has already got this kicker all good to go with the cut. The other kicker is all good with the cut. So he's just going to have to make the cuts for all this and then in the middle. And then it's going to be a tie-in party. We're going to get this thing all tied up there. Gary's going to work on that pipe. And then we're finally going to be ready for concrete. So, so close. So I better stop uh, yapping, get back to work, and um, I'll bring you guys along here in just a minute.
That one I don't need to put any rebar. That one I do. This way. But this is one half of the hole. You gotta keep on going that way. Dig over right next to you, babe. Alrighty. So we can get this uh, pipe in here and we can bury it and yeah. Be done. <laughs> Ready for concrete. We're so close. We're like, this hole is the last hole and then we can have concrete come in on these stem wall footers. Yep. Get in there. So it's raining. But this is the last hole that we have left to dig, is this one right here. We could put in the other three pipes and we're done. So we're working in the rain, dude. I'm finishing this thing. Gary and I are getting this done. Nothing going to stop it. Unless the lightning bolt hits around us and then I'm going to be like, nope. Right. But it doesn't look like lightning. In fact, the clouds don't even really look a whole lot like rain. Second I clean this up, it's gonna stop a bit. Probably, but we don't really need them anymore anyway because we're just onto the digging, yeah? Pretty much. <laughs> well, as you guys can tell, it is raining outside. Um, luckily, Gary and I were able to finish this project. We've got all of the rebar in, we've got the pipes in, and uh, we are ready for concrete if it'll ever stop raining. So, yeah. I wanted to show you guys some really cool drone <laughs> footage of this right now, but I'm not going to be able to again because it's raining and uh, I don't want to fly the drone and break Ruin it. Ruin the drone yeah. because it's not waterproof. So I'm going to show you guys a view from above with the GoPro as best as I can. It is full of water right now. We're looking at it. It's full of water. Um, but uh, I don't even care because the work is done. Yep. And it'll dry up. And yeah, it'll be that. Yep. It's washing off all the dirt and making the dirt mold and harden even more in a sense when it does dry. So, yeah. Who cares? I really don't. I'm done. I'm done with this hole. I can't <laughs> wait for the cement to be in. I know. I'm so excited, and, uh, guys. We can start building on top of it and um, then start digging some more for all the rest of the plumbing. But I'm not getting there right now. No, no, no. Let's not, not even think it. about that right now. So it. let's walk down to the bottom. I'm going to show you guys what we did. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys about what, why we did all that and just everything going forward. Yep. All right guys, so I know it doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot right now and I'm sorry I really wanted like a spectacular after to show you guys, but sometimes uh, life gives you rain so <laughs> We're working with it, <sighs> but Gary go ahead and explain what we did why we did it um, their functions and so on and so forth All right. Thank you All for right. standing in the rain for me in the rain. <sighs> All right <laughs> All right, so Rebar is done. Woohoo! Piping is done. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so basically with the rebar, what we've ended up doing is we ended up, as you saw, we went all the way around, put in the rebar going straight into the ground that way, and then also we came up and did the rings all the way up. And then we tied them all together this way, as well as we put another support beam right down the middle that actually supports these as well as it really gives a good weight hold to everything it's all wet and i'm still able to stand on it i'll wash off i ain't worried about it <laughs> but so it's really really good really really sturdy just as it is right now in a sense not for what not for all the weight and everything <laughs> before the concrete but once the concrete's in here that's going to give it so much more of a beefiness to the concrete like you're on a model so I'm, I'm really stoked. I'm really happy that we did it this way. And this will hold up like no tomorrow. It's a lot more than what most people do. I'm not most people. I'm a little crazy. And uh, yeah, we did this. But now we've got the piping in. And that was another thing. As soon as the rebar was done, piping had to go in and make sure that we actually can plumb everything. Badam! We got piping. So... This isn't really piping piping. It's the sleeve for in the concrete wall. But 
it for the piping. So I'm super happy because we did it with the correct angles. You can somewhat see my spray paint madness behind me where I sketched everything out and I made sure my measurements so that way I could be a quarter inch drop for all the plumbing. Yeah, it was madness, but I'm glad I did it before it started raining. But we got these in. So this is basically going to be the sleeve for all the plumbing in future aspects for the build. So as soon as all the concrete's in, I'm able to slide my 3-inch pipe down there, 3-inch pipe down there. And then the bottom one that's further down is going to be the actual front strain for the inner side. I'm doing an interior and an exterior front strain for this basement build. It's a lot more overkill than what I actually need, but it's a lot of rain and I ain't messing with the rain and water out here because I'm new to it and I'd rather just be safe than sorry and be able to pump it out of here and get it out. Get it out of here. <laughs> So we had to do it in this wall as well as we had to do it over in this wall. The other side for the actual front strain is way under there, but that's the rest of the piping right there. So it's uh, it's coming together really nice. Our septic will be over there. We're going to do a separate septic and a separate gray water as well. So we'll probably have a, a good gray water catchment center over there where we can purify it and use it for the garden animals whatever else as well as just whatever water we need if we ever need it i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but i don't want to put all of my gray water into the septic there is going to be some gray water going in but not all of it so that will be the collection side and then like i said the actual front strain is going to be coming out this way and pumping out and pumping away so it's going to be really nice like I said, I ended up going over here and uh, drawing out my little uh, blueprint area for what it's going to look like in the basement and where the shower is going to be and everything else so I can figure out my angles and my depths and everything for my pipes. So I might as well go over there and show you guys what it is, even though it's starting to wash away. Melanie was planning on uh, flying the drone up in the air and showing you guys a huge uh, scope of it and everything like that, which was like, oh, that was going to be cool. S stupid rainy but uh, <laughs> so instead of that i'm going to give you guys the blueprints we did this off the blueprint so i'll walk through it and sort of show you guys in the layout of what it is so so in this area right here is going to be like the family room area you're going to walk down the stairs from the main floor all the way down and you're gonna walk out basically in this area the front door is like right in this ballpark I drew it out over there I had to look back so right in this ballpark front door area looking out that way is going to be the front door to the family room and the walkout portion of the basement I'm really looking forward to this and I have a feeling you guys are going to really like it as well but anyway so once you get down to the basement the family room and you, if you need to use the restroom you need to use like the you know laundry room or go get some food from the pantry or whatnot come this way <laughs> walk through basically in this area and then basically you'll have a hallway coming in right through this way there's going to be the laundry room laundry room will be right here and then we'll have the mechanical room right in this area and so I need to use the restroom, right? I'm gonna walk over this way. Coming here, now we're in the restroom area. Shower will be right there. Toilet will be right here. Vanity area. So if I need to take it. <laughs> yeah. Good spot right there. So <laughs> but walk in this way, say I'm hungry. It's light lighting below it, I need to reload now i'm in my pantry <laughs> got all the food i want and everything else and storm's getting bad or something like that and it's like there's a tornado coming <laughs> get in this area underneath the stairs and now i'm good to go yeah there you go baby that's <clears throat> basically what we're gonna do yeah and there's a little closet right here too but there is a little closet there's a little closet there but that's it so basically 
this end of the uh, this Ooh. end of the basement is going to be the bathroom, the laundry room, the utility room, and the storage pantry and a tiny closet. The front area where the walkout portion is going to be our like family game room area. So like Gary was saying, I wanted to do some drone footage for you guys. Obviously it's not working out, but I'm gonna upload a picture right now of the blueprint so you guys can take a look at that a little bit closer. I know that the water and the spray paint and stuff isn't really showing you the best, but we're trying here guys. A for we, effort, we had right? It, we had it set up. We had a plan. To have a good, you know, ending to this and we had Mother Nature said, you know what? Y'all need a break. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done. It's over. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited. We're so close now. It's gonna be time for bricks and time for concrete and some more plumbing and things are really starting to get up. I'm so yep. excited. Things are gonna start getting built up instead of holes and just <laughs> rebar <laughs> and shovels. Yep. I'm it's, excited. It's gonna be nice. If you can't tell guys, I'm, we're both like so stoked right now. We're in like a really giddy mood. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's completed and it's beautiful. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe it, all the work. It's done. It's and, done. And the plumbing sleeves are in, so we can do the plumbing afterwards. Yep. Uh, it's it's been so much work, as you guys have seen us out here, digging and shoveling and pickaxing and jackhammering and calling in the troops and just everything to get us to this point. We don't even have the concrete in the ground, but next week is looking to be very sunny and beautiful. So next Weekend. week it's happening for sure, for yeah, sure really happening. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait guys. Thank you guys for watching this video and until the next one guys, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. Okay, we'll catch you on the next one you guys. Bye you guys. Later, later.